today we're learning about quite a few characters. All right, we're starting off with the wizard, then we're going on to the cell, the neckbeard, the V card, the Brad, the Chad, the Thad, the Lad. And who comes after the lad? Stick around till the end and you'll find out. You're not going to believe it. Uh, sometimes people relate to these characters, right? And if you find yourself relating to any of these characters, that's okay. You're not alone and there are many steps you can take to shift your life if you'd like to in the direction you want it to go. And that's what we're all about here on Starship Lockjaw. Let's get started. Okay. Welcome back to Starship Lockjaw, your daily source for a little motivation. Hey, you like this kind of stuff, you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure notifications are turned on, and we will begin. Oh, yeah. All right, check this out, you guys. This is the wizard. So, wizard, he, he got his headphones on. He's doing his thing, man. He's walking. He's, he's rolling. <laughs> is the cell over here? Is he in his drawers? He's in his drawers, I think. Put some pants on, boy. All right, what is the wizard? So, the wizard doesn't ever lift. Not even to lift food uh, into his mouth. He has a system of robots designed to spoon feed him. Nice. That's impressive. Um, that's really cool. Robots that feed you? Nice. Robots are taking over, you guys. Automation is the real deal. If you have automation techniques and strategies, please send them to me. I want to automate everything in my life, too. Does not even know what a, what a V-card looks like, all right? <laughs> Every time he tries to watch some, he he faints from pure disgust with a female body. So he can't even watch it. He can't even watch that video, the video, because it, hey, yeah. I mean, that kind of stuff can take over your life if you let it. That's not necessarily a bad thing that he doesn't like to watch it. I mean, yeah, it can do some bad stuff to you if you watch too much of it. Ha as incurable erectile dis- are we serious? Are we serious? He has er incurable erectile dysfunction. Doesn't matter because it's, it's microscopic. Oh, come on, man. Who made this? He was on Reddit. I saw it on Reddit. You're not very nice whoever made this, man. You're kind of mean, brother. Should we keep going? Yeah, let's keep going. He's kind of mean, man. Let's continue. Reddit. Good stuff on Reddit, huh? Um, <laughs> from each according to his ability to each according to his needs. I don't know what you mean by that. Lives with his mom at age 50. Doesn't have the decency to at least take care of her in her old age. Well, the wizard, man. <laughs> All right, hey, let's keep going. I, I don't even really want to do too much commentary. I just want to read. Okay, let's continue. So the cell here. My, is my man in his drawers, though? Is he in his drawers? Put some pants on, boyo. What are you doing, brother? Uh, so he's... His cell has absolutely no faith in his ability to ever land a date for the rest of his life, and is probably correct in his and is probably correct in his lack of faith. Man, you are dark, brother. You made this. You are dark, man. You are dark, brother. That's okay. That's okay. Um. All right. So probably correct in his lack of faith. No, my friend. All right. That lack of faith. It'll hold us back our entire lives. We can't have that lack of faith. That we gotta nip that thing in the bud. All right. Doubting ourselves, we got to take all doubt and just destroy it. All right, we destroy the doubt. It's the only way you'll ever get any of the things you really want. You got to destroy the doubt, okay? We'll obliterate it. That's what we do here on Starship Lockjaw. Destroyer of doubt. Come catch you, Lockjaw, and service your dirty purple. I'm a nice guy. Nobody wants to give me a chance, he says, as he sends uh, unnecessary pictures of himself to some poor girl. Uh, yeah, be careful with that. Don't be sending pics to people, like, uh, unless, like, just, just don't do it. You're probably gonna get yourself in trouble. Don't do it, man. Just don't do it. Don't be sending pics and stuff. Don't send pics to anybody, man, no matter what, all right? Because next thing you know, you're gonna break up, and guess what? <laughs> Those pictures are gonna find their way in all sorts of places. Don't do it. Don't send pictures to anybody like that. Inappropriate. All right, have a screaming meltdown upon the slightest hint of contact with another human. You don't need to have no screaming meltdown. Don't you be worried about the contact. You have contact with another human. You don't need to have a meltdown, baby. They're a human just like you. We're all humans, right? We're all sharing the planet together. It's pale because he is too self-conscious to, to ever go outside. Oh, well, maybe he just doesn't like the sun, man. Hell yeah, nothing wrong with that. Stay, maybe he stays in the shade when he goes outside, huh? Here, let's see. He could, uh, he could have it be a V-card or even a Brad if he got his life together. He is fully aware of this and still refuses. So he's fully aware of it, but still refuses. Sometimes people are fully aware that they could succeed, but they still refuse to, to put forth effort. You gotta put forth the effort, right? 
I think that when we refuse to put forth effort in certain areas, then the universe naturally rewards us with not achieving them, right? If we refuse to put any effort forth. However, at the same time, when we do put forth the proper effort and the proper angle, and we go, the universe rewards us by giving us what we want. Hell yeah. Man, you ain't kidding, brother. That's lockjaw. Hell yeah. The universe, man. You can make that thing work for you. We got the neck beard here. Look at my man. My lady. Look at my neck beard. He has a neck beard. Thinks it looks good despite all three of his friends telling him it's disgusting. Does he have a neck beard? Yeah, he does. Shave that thing, brother. Is always in his underwear, even when he leaves the house. He never changes his underwear, and he can be smelled from hundreds of feet away. Ouch. He can be smelled from hundreds of feet away. That's nasty. He will have one opportunity at romance in his life, and he will blow it. <laughs> This is crazy. He voted for Hillary because she was the lesser of two evils. He listens to Nightcore. He wouldn't mind getting pet. All right. All right. Very interesting. Very interesting. Let's continue. So we got the V card here. Check out the V card. Let's see what he's talking about, brother. He wears all dark and neutral colors. He wants no attention on himself. Ah, well, some people just aren't into all the attention. You know, that's okay. He could probably get a girl to like him but he will always trip up at the last minute. Oh. It doesn't matter if you're trying to get her to like, she's gonna like you anyways, cause you're an all right guy, brother. Look at you got those neutral colors. You're all right, man. You don't need to be worried about this. Look at this. He was invited to go to a shooting range once, but declined because he is scared to touch a gun. That's okay, guns aren't for everybody. Has a good job but is poor because he wastes his money on, wastes his money on what? What does he waste his money on? Just stuff in general? Quit wasting your money, brother. That's not good. Tells people that being a professional cosplayer is his main source of income, despite never having made a dime from cosplaying. Huh. Manipulates women to attempt to get pity sex fails every time. Yeah, you shouldn't be trying to manipulate people and hooking up with you. Don't do that, brother. What the hell are we talking about? This is weird. Or right, the Brad. Here we go. Look at Brad. Look at Brad's face. Damn, brother. You ain't kidding. Let's see what he's talking about here. <laughs> Look at his pants. Are those his pants or his yeah, those are his pants? <laughs> what are you doing, Brad? <laughs> he's generally a jerk due to being constantly stuck in mediocrity. Oh man. Could be in a jerk, brother. He's got some cool shoes though. Are those those are chucks, huh? Nice. He can get girls to like him, but only wants to hook up. Oh, come on, Brad, don't, come on. Pretends to be interested in his friends' lives, sometimes talks crap about his Chad friends to the other, to the other V cards to try to boost himself out of Bradness. Don't be talking crap about people, man, be cool, Brad. This Brad guy sounds like a jerk. Will not remember your name until after you've met five times. And he posts Bible verses on social media. And hopes that some then hopes that people won't realize that he is kind of a scumbag. He posts Bible verses on social media so people won't realize that he's a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with posting Bible verses and stuff, but if you're doing it because you don't want people to know you're a scumbag, that kind of sucks. Brad, you kind of suck, dude. Your face looks like you suck. Hey, let's continue here. Ah, the Chad. Here we go. Look at Chad. He's not kidding, brother. Uh, he watches pro wrestling and makes fun of it for being fake. Okay, that's okay. Lifts all the time and he takes juice because he isn't scared of the risks. Be careful with the risks, brother. That stuff can mess you up. Be careful, Chad. Is searching for meaningful, long-term relationships with women, but occasionally gets drunk and hooks up with somebody. Oh, yeah. Eats so much steak that it would be more efficient to blend his steak into a drink. Steak and shake, huh? <laughs> steak and shake. He has a tireless work ethic. That's good. That's very good. Work ethic goes a long way. Doesn't need to post Bible verses on social media because people know he is a good person. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, old Brad, dude. Brad's a little scumbag. Look at Brad. He's a little scumbag, brother. All right. Ah, the Thad. Dang, look at Thad's uh, ripped abs, dude. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got the eight pack, brother. Man, Thad, wait, what about, what about Lad? Lad, d dang, Lad's got even more, I think. We'll count those next time. No homo, bro. All right, so check it out. Thad, he watches pro wrestling and realizes that suspension of disbelief is integral to the art form. 
So he plays along. Yeah, play along. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah, it's fun to play along. He has a good job and is very rich. Oh, nice. Is always trying new things. Believes that complacency is a silent killer. Huh. It's good to try new things, man. We don't ever want to be stuck in one thing forever, right? It's good to try new things, new ways of thinking, too. Hell yeah. One new way of thinking can radically change your life. He got married to his high school sweetheart. They now have two kids. He has never dated anybody else. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Ain't nobody doing that. Nobody's marrying their high school sweetheart and never um, dating anybody else. <laughs> right, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. If they do, they're probably going to get divorced. Let's be honest. All right. If they don't, though, that's cool. Hey, drives a truck, which is awesome. Yeah, trucks are cool, man. What kind of truck is it? He lives a low-key lifestyle, which has allowed him to free up funds to donate to charities. Nice, dude. That's doing it. That's doing it, man. And then we got the lad. Okay, let's count. Hold on. Let's count the lad. Dude, look at his chin. Dang, brother. All right, hey, let's count his abs, brother. He's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. My man's got a 14 pack. Dang, brother. Look at that chin. <laughs> Look at the lad. Dude, look at his gains. He's got gains on his gains. Dang, brother. <laughs> look at that leg. <laughs> I thought this was a dress. I just realized what it's actually supposed to be. <laughs> All right. He watches pro wrestling and fully believes that what he is watching is a legitimate sporting event. Nice. Is that just him being nice or is it because he... I don't know. I don't... He has a good job but is bankrupt because he is constantly donating to charities and friends in need. Oh, that sure is nice of him. He drives a huge truck, which is very awesome. He vows to remain absent his entire life as a means to help the V-Cards get some, some Stacys to graduate to Chatham. V-Card will never thank Lad for his selfless act, but he doesn't mind. Nice. And he's got a massive Johnson, but isn't an inconvenience because he lifts every day and doesn't take juice because he is so naturally ripped that juice would slow him down. Juice would slow him down. All right, here, let's finish up strong. You ready for our final our final character we're learning about? <laughs> the Bruce. All right, the Bruce. What's up, Bruce? Nice to meet you. All right, let's learn about the Bruce, okay? It's got to be one of the weirdest videos we've ever done. All right, he doesn't lift, but he uses juice anyway. He doesn't even lift, but he uses juice anyway. All right, Bruce. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, he's never even seen a girl and has no time for, uh, has no time for, mm. he is unemployed, but lives off the grid where there is no need for money. Uh, is Johnson so big? He had to get special drawers that slip the rest of it into another dimension while he wears it. Body is composed of 100% concentrated testosterone, and he doesn't drive a truck. He doesn't need to, because he just runs everywhere he goes. Trucks are too slow for him. Watch this next video here. Video's right there. Go watch that one. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.